What do you think about um, using IT technology for supposedly not very high skilled, sort of less complicated um, situations? So the ones that we've mentioned have all been rather complex. So what about supposedly, I don't know, like a using IT, yeah, driving like automated cars or just a, a checklist for things like that. I don't know, I just think... You, you think scheduling ambulances is, is, is complicated um, compared with, with, uh, with autonomous cars, it's, it's straightforward. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, um, as, as we've discussed in, in previous lectures, you know, even a non-autonomous car these days has got 100 million lines of software in it. Uh, by the time you add real automation on top of that and, and some of the artificial intelligence that they're talking about so that cars are learning from the behavior of other cars, you're going to have much, much more complexity than, than even that. So, but to, to come back to your, your real question, IT is, is, the simpler a task is, the simpler it is to build an automated system that will carry it out. But you do need to understand the task well, and it's not always, I mean, there, there are two issues here. One is, can you automate it? And the other is, should you automate it? Because as a society, we've, over the decades, we've taken the view that efficiency should be measured as a, a microeconomic thing. You know, the efficiency of an individual office or an individual company or an individual task somewhere. And, and we've introduced automation or we've made changes that, that appeared to increase efficiency but which put a lot of people out of work uh, who were then needed to be supported by society and who uh, uh, we created social problems as a consequence of doing that. And it's not clear to me, therefore, that it's always the right thing to do to automate something just because you can. And you do get unexpected side effects from automation. And one of the consequences of automating the easy bits of flying an aeroplane, for example, is that pilots get out of practice in how to fly an aeroplane manually. And that creates difficulties under circumstances where they really do need to be able to fly it manually because the automatic systems aren't doing the job that they're supposed to. And too often, what we do is we, we automate what is easy to automate rather than looking at the big picture, the larger system, and saying, how can we best use all the tools that we've got, including automation, to make that bigger system work better, to deliver the properties that we want it to have? And, and that's the issue, I think, about, about automating the, the small tasks, that they are almost always going to be part of a a bigger set of tasks, and if you don't do it, if, if you do it without considering the bigger set, you will throw up problems and, and you won't know what to expect because you won't have done the analysis. <laughs>